Hello, welcome back. I'm the Erodius Kaiser. You're watching another one of my comic book pull list videos. This is for the month of April. It's been a little while, but I'm back. Uh, so, I got a bunch of comics. I'm going to show them to you. I get these from DCBS or Discount Comic Book Service. I order them online. And I can get shipments to Japan where I live once a month only. So, here's a big, this is a big shipment today. And we're just going to do it alphabetically. Alright, first up we've got Aquaman. This is number 44. Uh, I'm going to stop reading Aquaman for a while. I mean, I don't mind the writer, Kelly Sudeconic, but I do mind that everything was just trashed that up to this point. And now Aquaman is on some island and he has amnesia. So he's not even... It's like he's starting over. It's like they're rebooting him or something like that. I, I'm not cool with that. I've been reading them consecutively for a reason. That's a build up a story. If you're just gonna swipe it all away and do another reboot, like, oh, we had New 52 and then we had Rebirth and now you're just going inside Rebirth, like start over from square one again. That's, that's not cool. Okay. All right, here we have Avengers No Road Home number one, which the, but the legacy numbering is 708. Uh, it's gonna be like a, kind of a mini series here. I think maybe I don't know, up to like 12 parts, maybe. I don't know, like the last one. Uh, this is the Mark Brooks cover. This art was actually used for the figure that he created of Scarlet Witch and the Vision. So, uh, but it's the first time on a comic for this. Uh, here we got a Tony S. Daniel B variant for uh, Batman number 63. Uh, Constantine is gonna be making an appearance in here. So that's pretty cool. That's mainly why I'm uh, picking this one up. Uh, but I, I have been getting Batman for a, for a little while though. Here we have a Ben Oliver variant for Batman Who Laughs number two. That looks sweet, man. And th like this, this series is gonna be pretty good, I think. This is by this variant is by uh, an artist that I really like a lot right now, Ricardo Federici. Uh, this is Batman Who Laughs number three. All right, from Archie Horror, this is a new comic. Uh, this is Blossoms six six six, number one. Uh, so, yeah, the Blossoms are going to try to be the Antichrist. That is definitely right down my alley for stuff I like in comics. Uh, here we have Crypt of Shadows number one. This is only going to be a one shot. I think like the anniversary of some stuff in Marvel is going on. So they're doing a bunch of uh, just one shots of titles that aren't around anymore. Um, this is a, she used to be like in the 70s and 80s. Uh, she used to be a horror. Uh, used to be a horror comic. Uh, so uh, there are could be some fun horror like probably silly or simple horror stories in here it could be cool uh, we got brian steel freeze on the cover here for detective comics number what are we looking at here 997 uh gary frank on the next issue 998 and we're coming up on detective comics 1000 so uh yeah i'll be getting these uh, up through there all right, great new series. This is Die, uh, about some kids who, well, when they were kids, uh, started uh, playing a kind of special Dungeons and Dragons type game and they got transported into some world. Uh, they, many years later, they were able to escape, but one was left behind. Now they're adults. I mean, they're all like, they all suffer through PTSD in their own way, uh, but they get back together uh, for the first time in years and then they're transported back to that world. Uh, where that one that guy that was left over is now the dungeon master and wants them to just keep playing the game. Uh, it is wicked cool, all right? Uh, Stephanie Hans doing the art, and the writer is Kieran Gillen. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, he also wrote some other good stuff like Wicked and Divine and things like that. A new Elvira miniseries. Uh, this is Shape of Elvira number one. Uh, it's going to be like the Shape of Water, but with Elvira or something like that. Uh, yeah, I, I like myself, my Elvira. I thought this was the best cover out of the other ones. Like, uh, the art wasn't that great, so I just, ah, I'll get the photo cover. Eh. I mean, this isn't like a new image or anything. This, this photo of Elvira has been out since like the 80s or something. Uh, Fearscape number four. This is from Vault Comics. Uh, it's a story about a plagiarist who gets taken to a fantasy world because they think he's the greatest writer and they can he can save all of fantasy and then he just screws it all up uh it's pretty cool christian ward making this pretty awesome variant cover for gideon falls this is number 10 driven by jeff lemire i like him a lot i do like how he does horror right, this is number 11 with a variant by miko suayan uh, i i hope i said that right and this being black and white, like I think is perfect for the art style on there, right? That's awesome. Okay. 
This is a stupid cover for Green Lantern number four, but it's written by Grant Morrison and it is really good. The contents, not that freaking cover. Here we got Immortal Hulk number 12. This is an amazing series. Uh, I got the like Guardians of the Galaxy variant, which was stupid. Why did I bet against Alex Ross? Like, seriously. All right, and here we got number 13 with the Alex Ross cover. Okay, yeah. Uh, if you got Alex Ross in an unknown, like uh, that other one, I couldn't see the, the actual picture when I when I picked the variant. I, was, I just, you know, took a gamble. And don't gamble if, the sh if your sure bet is Alex Ross. Okay. Here we have another one of those like one shot, like horror one shots that uh, Marvel put out for some anniversary. I don't even know what it was. Uh, we have a journey into unknown worlds and an extra plus Colin Bunn is writing something in here. Here we got Justice League number 16 and 17. Uh, written by Scott Snyder. I like it a lot. I mean, the only com my complaint with him is sometimes uh, there's a lot of stuff that happens like off panel, like a battle or, some, or something like that. Like all of a sudden we'll be boom somewhere else and it'll, we'll just be told what happened in there. Uh, I mean, sometimes I just wish he would take a little more time. I mean, he takes time on other things, uh, but uh, occasionally I'm like, man, why didn't you just show it happening, you know? But uh, I still do like the series a lot. Justice League Dark number seven and number eight. Another teen comic that I am enjoying a lot. We got Marvel Knights number six. This is part six of the Kare Andrews connecting variant. Uh, I, mean, I like those a lot, and when they when they are good, they're really good. Uh, but I I do get burned by the kind of suckiness of some of these connecting covers. But I ha don't have any complaints with this one. Okay, the Punisher number seven and number eight. Like this is uh, so good for the Punisher. Like. Uh, like he's going up against Baron Zemo after Punisher, like kind of falling in line with Hydra Cap uh, during like Secret Empire, that that kind of thing. This could, to me, it's like a little bit of a redemption for Punisher to be actually going after him, trying to straight up kill Baron Zemo. I think it's awesome. Formerly Red Hood and the Outlaws, now just Red Hood Outlaw. This is number 30 of a series that I really do like a lot. Uh, we are yeah seeing more evolution of the Red Hood he shot Penguin right straight in the face, uh, didn't kill him, and so like, I don't know, this is good to be like a, a tit for tat kind of thing with Penguin here. I think he's gonna like uh, maybe own in the casino or then Penguin's gonna try to get it back or something like that. Uh, it should be pretty cool. And here is 31 of that same series. This is Shazam number two. Jeff Johns is writing it. I mean, the first issue was not uh, a letdown at all. I'm, yeah, gonna keep on with this one. I like it. I got a lineup of a few Ninja Turtles related comics coming up here. First one is Ninja Turtles IDW 2020 uh, celebrating IDW's 20th anniversary. We'll be taking the Turtles uh, like 20 years in the future and past like kind of time hopping around maybe just to, like in, in celebration of the anniversary I think. Okay. Ninja Turtles number 90. Oh man this series is so good. Uh, we just lost a uh, well, uh, friend in there. Uh, this is probably the funeral for, for Slash. I hear everyone dealing with that. And I decided to get the Eastman variant for 91. All right, here we have, I've been waiting for this for a little while. This is Shredder in Hell number one. Uh, by the end of this, hopefully Shredder will be coming back to the world of the living. Uh, so you get to kick the crap out of turtles again. Here we got Vampirella versus Reanimator number two. Uh, yeah, I, I, like, I like the first issue uh, a lot. Actually inside, the only colors they use are black, white, red, and green seems like a pretty fun series so far I'm, I'm ready to get back into venom right so I'm, i start ordering these venom comics and then like a whole bunch of venom in the next few months is going to be that war of the realms like crossover thing uh and i'm not psyched about that so uh, i got a few issues of venom coming but then i'm going to stop once like he, he gets put in with that that crowd uh yeah i don't i don't, I don't, I don't like that we got Mind Melting Horror Story by Garth Ennis from Aftershock Comics. This is A Walk Through Hell. Uh, this is number seven, and man, awesome story. Uh, Matteo Scalera with a pretty sweet cover for Wonder Woman number 62. And Kamome Shirahama with the cover for 63, which also looks very nice. And we got Art Germ, or Stanley Lau, flipping the picture for 64, and it looks pretty sweet. 
Lastly, we've got Exo Man of Wars is number 23. Uh, this series actually might be coming to an end soon, uh, which I was, I was sad to see it go, but I'll, uh, yeah, stay, stick with it till the end. All right, there you have it. Later than some, but these are the books I'll be reading in April. Okay. Well, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have anything to say, leave it down in the comments. Have I missed anything? Uh, if you want to do none of those things, uh, I still do hope you had a fun time watching at least. But well, that's all I gotta say. I'm the Erroneous Kaiser. I'll see you next time. Hi. This is ogre.